Pregnant ladies should be concerned about the Zika virus infection. We find that the uh, infection itself is not only affecting the mother, we also worry the infection affecting the unborn baby. The mothers, of course, we get uh, fever, generalized aches and pains, and even conjunctivitis, and they can get quite sick from the uh, Zika infection itself. But there are a range of uh, patients who have no symptoms as well. That's why you may not even pick up these uh, patients who got infected. It does affect the baby's growth and also causes uh, structural abnormalities of the baby. Um, there has been studies to show a very close relationship between the viral infection as well as uh, brains uh, becoming small in size, often as microcephaly. So those are long-term problems to the baby because if the brain's affected, obviously the child, uh, when they grow up, have other issues as well. And um, other structural abnormalities also may be related to Zika virus because especially the nervous system is affected. Um, in the adult, furthermore, they have found that some of the adults do get Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a disease of the nerves. Um, they are all close relationship, but no direct relationship at the moment, so a lot of studies still need to be done. As we know that the Zika infection is uh, spread by a vector, that means the, there is a carrier in between. So in this case, actually, it's the dengue, uh, de you know, same carrier for dengue, which is the Aedes mosquito. So the Aedes mosquito, as we know, is something which is found more in the urban areas, so like in town and cities. So for the lady to prevent it, the first thing they can do is try to wear clothes which are long sleeve, long pants, and uh, to prevent mosquito bites, so they have to keep themselves cool because mosquitoes tend to go to hot places. And uh, second thing, because you can buy insect repellents, they have now patches you can put on the clothes to prevent, uh, so uh, don't allow the mosquitoes to bite them. And of course, at home is where most of the things are very important because we know that uh, Aedes mosquito is found in uh, water containers and so forth. So same thing that we do for prevention of dengue, we apply for prevention of uh, Zika to clear up all the water collecting uh, utensils, etc. And uh, of course, you might want to have uh, these wire screens you use on the windows and the doors so to prevent mosquitoes from flying in. And even for sleeping, they can use the old-fashioned mosquito nets. So that's what the ladies can do to prevent it, yeah. Okay, the problem with uh, suspicion of infection and uh, finding out whether they're actually infected is becoming a big problem because we know that the, there are blood tests we can do to uh, diagnose the infection. But unfortunately, this test at this moment in time can only pick up test, uh, infection within seven days. That means once the uh, infection appears like they have all the symptoms of Zika, after seven days of that in the infection, the blood does not show the infection anymore. So you really have to catch them early to so-called confirm. And even this confirmatory blood test uh, also overlaps with other viruses like uh, yellow fever and even dengue. So there's a lot of overlap, so it's not a foolproof test, but that's about the only test we have at the present moment. So I'm sure there'll be future tests in the future which are more diagnostic and uh, clearer on what we are facing.